I'm Andy Malone. I'm a Microsoft MVP and a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Welcome to All You Need to Know. In this session, we're going to talk about using Microsoft Teams, a fantastic collaboration tool that comes as part of Microsoft and Office 365. So if you want to know more, stick around. So let's have a look at Microsoft Teams. I'm currently logged in into my Office or Microsoft 365 account. And as you can see, we have a Teams icon here. So I'm just going to click on that and that takes me in to Microsoft Teams. Now, this particular demo is a demo as an end user. So maybe an end user and a team admin. So let's just have a quick look around what we can see. First of all, you'll notice that I'm on the Teams tab here on the left hand side and I have a number of teams here. So um, what I'm going to go ahead. Uh, well, first of all, when you create a team, it creates a general tab by default. Now, the idea is that, um, for example, if I go into, let's say, the Marquette project team here, you can see that I've got a number of tabs. And the nice thing about the tabs is the general tab is just like a general information. First of all, who can create a team? Basically, anybody can create a team. Uh, you can create them from uh, Office 365 groups. So if you're in Microsoft Outlook and you create an Office 365 group, there is a little checkbox that says, hey, I want to convert this into a Microsoft team. And it just makes the, a lot more of an interactive experience. So with that, you can see that this is the, the team. We get a, a team chat here. You'll also notice uh, along the channel, uh, with the channel, you get a number of tabs. So for example, the team might represent a company, um, a location, something like that. And then you might create tabs for each department. So we've got a little ellipse here. So as a Teams administrator, I've got a number of things that I can do. I can click on to manage the team and I can you can see that I've got um, members and guests. I've got a number of members and guests here and I can add in members and I can add in owners. So owners pretty much have administrative rights. <clears throat> members, um, these can be both internal and external users that you can invite. So um, as well as that, you can see um, the channels here are also listed here as well. And with the channels, you can choose to show for members or not. You know, if there's a particular channel, let's say research and development, you only want to see for yourself or maybe you don't want to see it for guests, for example. Um, the settings um, with the settings, um, this is all things like membership policies, guest permissions is a bit. I'm not going to go through all of these. I'll come back again and do an administrative one. But just for now, guest permissions, a couple of important things, um, enabling guests to create channels. You may not want to do that or things like update channels and so on. Um, again, of course, depending on who the guest is, of course, um, you get a team code. It will generate a team code and then you can uh, offer that to your users and they can just use that team code to uh, connect. Um, you can see how the channel, how popular the channel is doing, how popular the team is with your users. And also the very cool thing about Microsoft Teams, unlike groups, is that you can add in other apps. So not just Microsoft apps, but you can also bring in third party apps here as well. And there are thousands and thousands of apps that are really useful. And you can see not just uh, Microsoft apps there. OK, so that is these are the tabs across the top there. So that's pretty much the administrator. So from an end user perspective, you can keep up with your staff here by typing in a conversation. You can attach a file uh, that you might want people to share. So, for example, it might be something that's in a, a OneDrive, for example. You can attract smileys, gifts and so on. And you can if you want to meet now, I can go ahead and say, hey, you know, I want to go and uh, meet with the team. I want to, to, to go and have an online meeting uh, with the team right now. 
Um, so that's that. Uh, again, um, I can uh, click on to, like I said, the general tab, you can see you can't remove the general tab. The one thing that you can do with the tabs is that you can pin it, you can hide a particular channel, you can manage it. Um, every channel also gets an email address. Remember that Microsoft Teams collaborates with um, Outlook, SharePoint, um, OneDrive, uh, Yammer, and so on. So again, it's all about collaboration. And one clever thing that you can do with the channel is that you can connect it to a third party application as well. So again, any of these third party apps, you can connect it directly to that, which is very cool. Um, okay, so um, that's pretty much the things that you can do uh, within a team. Uh, again, one thing, if I just come down to the research and development, um, as I mentioned, um, you can create tabs. So, uh, for example, here we have a Power BI tab, uh, which is giving lots of uh, really, really useful information. Um, again, you can also uh, tab into, let's say, an Excel spreadsheet or a YouTube video or, you know, if this was training and development, uh, something like that. So very cool um, features. So what else have we got here? So creating a team, by the way, you can join or create a team uh, by using this option down here. So other things that we've got here, you've got alerts. So obviously activity, this lets you know if there's anything uh, going on with your uh, team. Um, you can also initiate a chat. So you can see that Alex here, um, he's given me, a, um, a, you know, he's sent me a document so I can uh, go ahead, I can open up this document in Word. Um, if you don't have access, of course, you can go and request access uh, to that. So the chat function is very good. I can go and uh, request access to that. I can send him a file and respond and so on. Um, uh, with the other thing that we've got as well, again, it fully integrates into Microsoft Outlook is the likes of calendars. So again, you can go ahead and schedule an, both an online meeting um, or uh, a, a Teams meeting as well. And also you can do this from Microsoft Outlook too. Um, now, this particular version of Teams is an E5 subscription, so I get all the calling uh, features of Microsoft Teams, PSTN, Public Switch Telephone Networks, so every user gets a phone number, so you can see, by the way, um, I meant to mention that everybody, every subscription of 365 gets Teams. Um, you can do Teams online meetings, the only thing that you don't get um, is the voice. So for the minimum requirements for voice, you need a minimum of an E3 subscription and you can bolt that on. Um, now, of course, what comes with the voice are things like voicemail, um, but you can see that I can call somebody, I can meet with them, um, I can send them a chat and so on. So very, very collaborative. I mentioned, um, of course, OneDrive, and you can see that um, the Teams also have a OneDrive here. Do I have to have just OneDrive? No, of course. You can also add in other different types of cloud storage as well, Dropbox, Box, and so on. Um, again, there are other apps that you can work with. So Teams, again, works with Microsoft Streams. So one of my other videos on YouTube, uh, I did a uh, demo of uh, the uh, media and broadcasting tool, Microsoft Streams. So again, check out that video. It tells you all about it. But again, very, very nice feature. So there you have it, Microsoft Teams. What a fantastic collaboration tool. It combines and collaborates with over 22 different Microsoft Office uh, applications. Now that's just part one of this. I'm gonna do another session on administering Microsoft Teams, so make sure that you come back soon. But in the meantime, make sure that you click on that subscribe button and come back to my channel very soon. Appreciate it, take care.